Hi, I'm Construction Gamer and this is Transport Fever 2. In this episode we're going to be taking a quick look at the emissions system and what it actually means and what impact it has on the vehicles and on the towns through which they drive. Now you can see one of the biggest features of this is the tattiness or the appearance of the vehicle. This is a very poorly maintained old bus, it's almost 40 years old now and it really is looking like it's fit for the scrapyard so that is one thing straight away that you will notice with the new uh, the new aging feature if we jump into the UI we're going to take a look straight away at the little experiment that I've been running just to show you what sort of impacts that the emissions and the maintenance system has so the first things first if we open up the data layer the second to last on the bottom is the emissions layer and you will see this sort of emissions spread um, emissions layer spread so the white is low and the redder it is the higher the emissions are so this is a very poorly maintained old bus and you can see just this individual vehicle on its own is producing on average some quite poor emissions you can look at the live emissions so this will be the actual emissions of the vehicle itself <clears throat> excuse me so you can see here it's kind of a pink going pink to red where this bus is driving down the road but if you just look at the average across the town you will see the spread of the emissions as you come down I've got three sets of three vehicles so these are all older buses they are in fact um, the twin coach 44s the newer buses we have the right street cars they are again diesels and then coming right down to the bottom we have some e Sitaro electric buses now if first things first if we go into this town we bring up well, don't need to go into that town but if you bring up our vehicle menu you will see that you can increase or decrease the maintenance of the vehicle so this one here is an old diesel and it has um, additional co uh, running costs are just normal so there's uh, plus zero percent additional cost for that for vehicle 2 I've put plus 25 so this has increased the running cost by 25 percent and then again this one I've done plus 50 so you can increase and decrease the actual maintenance of your vehicles and that obviously has an impact on the running costs one of the most important things to note with the new system is if we bring up this one here this has the normal running cost this is costing £35,000 a year to run if we go into the vehicle manager and buy a new vehicle if we go to the twin coach 44s you will see you should see right, we'll buy one there we are now you can see if we bring it up this is a brand new vehicle this costs £35,000 a year to run so the actual age of the vehicle does not increase the running costs or the running costs do not increase with the age of the vehicle now they stay flat unless you decide to increase the maintenance cost if I do plus 25% go to the details it costs 44000 and again increase it by 50 click off it click back on that. Did I increase that by 50? Oh, I didn't apply. Apply, go, do that. And then that is costing £52,000 per year. So the actual age does not impact the maintenance cost, it's the actual maintenance regime that you set. Equally, the buses don't get old and break down or anything like that. They just, they just do what they do. What happens is as the buses get older, um, they increase their amount of emissions so if we look again at this bus if we buy a brand new one twin coach 44s the emission figure stated from you is 73 now if you go into our vehicle manager or the vehicle statistics you will see that road vehicle 3 is 39 years old but it's had a very high so a 50% maintenance regime and that is stuck at its 73 emissions rating now this road vehicle one is a very old normal maintenance is very bad condition and is emitting 80 
Now, it got to its maximum age of 29 years old, and that hit 80, and it doesn't seem to have increased, so there's a ceiling to which the emissions will go up, and I think 80 is pretty much the ceiling for this bus. If we go to the newer vehicles, you'll see there's a bit of an overlap, so an older, very highly maintained bus will emit less than an, a new bus of a similar age, a newer, newer bus but similar age with normal maintenance so it's in very bad condition it's emitting more than a very highly maintained older bus but you will see that a newer very highly maintained newer bus is emitting much much less than a highly maintained well not much much about four four points less than a highly maintained vehicle so there's a bit of an overlap there and you'll see again even with the electric buses they still have an emission overall so a poorly maintained electric bus uh, will emit slightly more than a very well maintained diesel bus and I think that makes sense because electric buses they still make road noise they still have a motor and transmission wine and things like that so I think it wouldn't be right for them to be silent all of the time now what that actually means in terms of gameplay and things like that is rather than vehicles breaking down or costing you more over time they actually have a negative impact on the town itself so this one uh, Shepton Mallet has an old bus which has very, been very poorly maintained and there's just one of those and the quality of our service the emissions is very poor and that's having a negative impact on the population of this town in fact minus 30 the target population is 115 but because the emissions are so poor it's actually reducing the overall target population by 20 percent now we could offset that by increasing the public transport our, or even the private transport prospects all by supplying goods they all have a positive impact but that will be deducted somewhat because of the poor state of your vehicles and the emissions past the residential units that is the main point as well the emissions only have an effect on residential buildings so commerce and industry they don't mind emissions so much it's just the people and the residential properties that mind so you will see that the residential buildings are illuminated here and they are very unhappy with that rattly old bus driving past their house. Now if we come back down to the next town, this one is being served by a bus, bus which has had a high maintenance regime and you will see it's still having a negative impact on the town but this time it's only mediocre and that's minus 20 and similarly with a very highly maintained older bus which again still mediocre but big but if you had a lot of vehicles running up and down past residential properties then this number is likely to change this is just because we've only got one so the difference between 25 and 50 percent maintenance isn't really visible here but as soon as you start to add additional vehicles then that really will start to make a difference and it only goes up or well it goes up and down in 10 percent increments so you could end up with a minus 40 if it was very poor um, so yeah it's something to bear in mind now if we come down to the newer diesels you can see the least maintained newer diesel is again mediocre 25 percent is good so it's only minus 10 percent and actually don't, it's not going past too many residential but this has been varying between very good and good so we can either go zero which is very good or minus 10 which is only good so yeah you can see there the difference that you can see it visually but in the percentage terms you can see it even more starkly if we go to a very poorly maintained old electric bus now you can see it's still it's producing emissions it is now um, 39 years old it's been very poorly maintained it's in a bad, bad condition and it is having a negative impact on the residential uh, properties through which it passes the better maintained vehicles the better maintained electric vehicles these ones um, are having 
no impact at all you can see there's a tiny little faint pink pink strip there but overall it's having a no no impact at all you can't increase this number these quality numbers only go down so you can see here this one it's a very good so if you go back to the vehicle statistics then you can see there just a breakdown of what sort of emissions we're doing and you get a good idea of some of the very worst performing vehicles that are emitting 80 to some of the best best performing vehicles which are producing uh, 70 63 and that's having no negative impact on the town at all so that's how the new emissions and maintenance system works you can if you wanted if you couldn't afford to replace all your buses just increase the maintenance regime and that would stave off the inevitable for a while but even so a well maintained a very well maintained older bus is still gonna in the long term produce a mediocre outcome um, so your vehicles you can if you want to have them indefinitely the likes of trucks if you routed them to an industry without going through any residential building so if you built a bypass for instance then you could negate the uh, the emissions that way but if you've got buses or anything like that that has to drive through residential streets then you really do have to bear that in mind because it will have an impact overall on how your town grows and the quality of service that you are providing so I hope that explains a little bit and demystifies the emissions system. If you've got any questions, do leave them in the comments below. I'll try and answer any questions that you do have, but hopefully this has explained it a bit more clearly and it's been an active demonstration in how the system impacts on the towns. So I hope you found it interesting. If you have, do hit that like button. Any, com any questions, leave them in the comments below. But I think we are done. I think I've explained as much as I can. So I'm going to leave it there for today. And I'm going to say, until next time, bye-bye.